Uh, independent filmmaking, or I should say truly independent filmmaking, is always a challenging thing. And uh, Head Trauma is very much an independent film made totally outside the system with money that was raised through private equity and basically uh, a DIY, do-it-yourself experiment from beginning to end. George Walker. Hey, Mary. God, you look totally different. Where the hell have you been? The movie itself is the story of George Walker, a transient who comes back home to settle his grandmother's estate and finds it condemned in, slated for demolition, and decides that he's going to try to save it. Uh, as he goes to try to save it, he falls and strikes his head and starts having these reoccurring nightmares. Slowly but surely, the nightmares start to cross over into his reality. It's very much a psychological horror film. And with a movie of that scope, what I really wanted to do was kind of distance myself, in some ways, from the documentary format that I had worked in before with the last broadcast. And I wanted to be able to create something that would challenge those conventions, not only for myself, uh, but also to really push the envelope of what uh, was possible. Um, within an independent film. So, you know, the movie makes use of aerials, uh, the movie makes use of shooting at night, it makes use of, uh, you know, shooting in flooded basements, a lot of things that are just no-nos in terms of independent filmmaking. And I think what's important is you start with a very tight story and you start with a vision of where you want to go and then you continually challenge yourself all the way through. I think in terms of independent filmmaking, making your own work, you know, if you have a dream and a vision of what you want to do, just pick up a camera and start shooting and try to write as much as you can.